Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the Brushes panel. Now the Brushes panel hosts a selection of brush presets that you can select from when you're making any sort of design. Um, it works with the Draw and Pixel Persona, and you can uh, apply these strokes or brushes to the Vector Brush tool or the, within the Strokes panel. Now, uh, right now I have selected the Vector Brush tool, and as you can see, I can draw different things. So if I have a sorted selected under uh, brush presets, uh, I can scroll down and have a bunch of different sort of uh, brushes that um, I can use. And it has a bunch of different presets for me to use. And uh, I can make all of those sort of brush strokes in a sorted. And it gives you quite a, a plethora of different strokes. Uh, you can also come up here and select textured, which will give you uh, a textured sort of brush that you can have. And there's a bunch to select from. There's also an image level where you can paint different uh, images they have. Here's like a chain. You can also color them up here and change their stroke style with uh, the stroke panel. Here's a, a fun zipper. Um, and there's uh, a bunch of different ways. So you can select through all of these different categories uh, which brush you would like. You can also come over to uh, brush presets and save certain presets. Uh, if you use new uh, intensity brush, this will create a brush design based on lightness or intensity of a raster image. The new textured image brush uh, will create a design based on the color values of a raster image, and there's a bunch of different brushes. You can import brushes from other places, export your brush that you've designed. You can make new categories. There's a lot you can really do, and it's really useful if you are uh, really getting into Affinity Designer's drawing aspects instead of just making simple like logo designs and simple uh, polygon designs, if you're really getting into something like heavy illustrative wise, these brush panel and these brushes are quite useful for something that you might do, say you needed chains, they already have pre-made chains, say you needed these leaves, they have the pre-made leaves, and they already have pre-made brush strokes that you can already use so you don't have to go and create your own. So it's just something there that's really useful if you're uh, doing that sort of art. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials. So thanks for watching.